You seem very angry. And here I thought the Chantry was against mind reading. Did something happen to you in the Circle? I understand there were problems in Ferelden. Are you saying a mage can only be unhappy in the Circle if demons are involved? No. It's not about Aldred. It's not about being beaten or raped by a Templar. That does happen. But I've been fortunate. It's a larger principle. The freedom every man, woman and child born in Thedas have as a natural right. You were given to the Circle. I was given to the Chantry. Hawk was driven away from home by the Darkspawn. None of us are free. Don't worry. We've got everything... You lie to me, but we caught these apostates anyway. You're looking well. My store is much better stocked thanks to you. If you're interested in hunting down more ingredients, I can make other creations. And of course, I'll pay you for your work. Sure. Just let me know what you need. Perfect. I have a list of ingredients right here. Welcome back to Salt. This Red. isn't right. I am... Uh... I baptized the potions yesterday. Yes, they found us. I'm sure you're not surprised. After you turned us loose with no aid, no food, only a moment's head start. Where else could we end up? The Knight Commander found Grace and the other Starkhaven mages. They're still in quarantine. Hawk, the new scion of the Amel family. Congratulations. Anyway, what can I do for you? Is there anything I can help the Templars with? Oh, you're kind to offer, but after what happened with Tirani three years ago, the Knight Commander has closed ranks. Our own men undergo weekly questioning. And she's eliminated all work with outsiders. It's hard to keep recruitment up enough to maintain our numbers. Everyone seems concerned about the Canari. What's the Templar stance? They are heathens. They will stop at nothing less than the eradication of the Chantry. But we can't know the immediate goals of the Kunari in Kirkwall. Should it come to open conflict, we are the largest army in the city. We will be the ones to lead its defense. I keep hearing about the Knight Commander. When do I get to meet her? I'm afraid she's become more reclusive since you came to Kirk Wallhawk. These last three years, especially, she's been very suspicious of outside influences. I almost wonder if something happened.
Is there something you want, Anders? You really don't have the temperament for a slave. Is that a compliment or an insult? I'm just wondering how your master didn't kill you. How have the Templars not killed you? I'm charming. It's not always fun in games on the sea, though. There are storms and hostile pirates. And it's trying being cooped up with men who haven't seen a woman in months. You're a woman? Exactly. And I don't usually let them touch me, so they get... frustrated. I insist all of them get alone time. Helps with the crankiness. They're already lonely. Why would you insist they be alone some more? Ah, oh, Meryl. What? I still don't know what the big tree is for. It's sort of pretty, I suppose. I was hoping you'd come. You did so much for my Fenriel already, but... I visited him among the people, but he turned me away. I know the demons still plague him. And now they've taken him. Two days ago, Fenriel went into a nightmare and hasn't returned. He can't be woken up? The Keeper says he is near death. His lips still fog a mirror, but that is all. Surely there are mages who can pursue him in the Fade. I have contacted Keeper Marathari. The Dalish have an ancient ritual that might help, but it requires someone Fainreal trusts to enter the Fade to free him. This is hardly my area of expertise, but is there anything I can do? Marath Harry is coming to perform the ritual that will bring Fainriel back. His childhood things here will help anchor him. Frolic through dreams? Sounds like an experience. I'm game. You'll need someone experienced in the Fade to come with you. I've already called for the Keeper. We need to begin the ritual as quickly as possible. Would you like to stay here or return when she arrives? This is too urgent to delay. You have been far kinder than I had any right to expect. I came quickly, Ariane. I did not wish to tell you by letter how grave your son's situation is. The magic he possesses makes him what the Devinters called 
Somniari. A dreamer. Dreamers have the power to control the beyond. What humans call the Fade. Fainreel is the first in two ages to survive. What can a dreamer do? Dreamers are unique for their ability to enter the Fade at will. Without the aid of Lyrium. In the Fade, they can shape dreams. And even affect the world beyond the Veil. Tevinter Somniari used to enter the minds of sleepers and slay them in their dreams. Why are they so rare? Dreamers have great power in the Fade. They attract demons. Luckily, most prove too frail of mind to survive a demon's possession. A dreamer abomination would be near unstoppable. Is there a difference between the Beyond and the Fade? They are the same. By either name, the Fade is the realm of spirits, Thedas' heart. While the mortal realm is its strong arm. The demons who live there covet the bodies of mortals and seek to possess them. Only mages ever touch the Fade in a waking state. Others see it in dreams. What exactly are we going to do here? The Elves of the Dales were experts in the Somniari Arts. They could even help those with no power enter the Fade. I have done my best to recreate the ritual. We will use Fainreel's childhood home as a focus to draw him back through the Veil. Just send me into the Fade. I told you our courage was legendary. Now, Ariani, please excuse us. We must prepare. Oh. Of course. There is more, I must tell you, that is not for her ears. Is Fainreel in danger? Indeed. And the danger may not come from what you think. Fainreel cannot become an abomination. The destruction he would cause is unimaginable. If you cannot save him from the demons, you must kill him yourself. A death in the Fade will make him what your circle calls Tranquil. He will be no threat after. I will not let him become a danger. I wish you luck. Now, gather a team, and we will begin. Choose carefully, for all will face temptation. I never give in to temptation. I worry what a journey to the Fade might bring out in me. Can I come? I'd love to see the ritual, and I promise I, I won't be a bother. Let us begin. I had not thought to return in such a way. It is good to feel the breath of the Fade again, not the empty air of your world. We're just here for a visit, so don't get too homesick. I am Justice. Anders has told you of me. Come. I sense Fainwheel's mind straining. We will not have much time. Well... It's rare to see two forgotten magics in one day. It's usually a slow place, the Fade. Not many surprises. I wasn't sure I'd like this one, but it has potential. A demon of sloth. It exists to make men forget their purpose and their pride. Do not relax around it. Call me Torpor. I have a proposition that might interest you. Speak, but I promise nothing. I trust you're here for the mage, Fainreel. Two of the most powerful demons in this realm are vying for control of him. Sadly, I'm no warrior. I couldn't stand up to them. But if I did, I'd only want the boy's power to secure my position in the Fade. Don't listen to him. Sloth demons prey on your trust. I'd be no threat to your world. What would it take to defeat these demons? They each weave an illusion for Fainreal. You must help him reject it. A 
be cautious. Shatter the dream too quickly and his mind will break. He must reach the realization on his own. Is there still time to save him? He suffers under the demon's assault. Every time they strain his connection to the mortal world, his mind breaks a little further. The pain of it shakes this entire realm. What sort of creatures are menacing Fainrael? There is a demon of desire called Caress. She ensnares him in dreams of bliss from which he will not emerge. The other is a creature of pride known as Rhyme. It offers Fainrael the power to control his life and world. So if I help you possess Fainrael, you won't attack Kirkwood? We are drawn to the mortal realm to merge with a living soul. Once I have done so, what need will I have for your people? I merely want power against my own kind. This is a monster! It asks you to sacrifice an innocent to its ambition! Ignore this tiresome little spirit. I ask only what it has already taken. A willing merger with a human host. Do not work with this creature. I will stop you. I will hear no more of this demon. Have it your way. My people, I present to you our hope. His features may mark him as human, but in his heart beats the blood of the Dales. He came to us to learn his heritage, to release the power from a lineage as ancient as our race. I... I don't know what to say. This is a trick. First Enchanter, what are you doing here? Mother told me the Dalish are honorable. Why would the Keeper lie? Why would she entrust her people to a human? You are one of us, Fainreel. Your magic will restore our greatness. But you told me this magic was outlawed for a reason. Even the Dalish don't practice it anymore. Could the Elves trust you with the power to shape reality? I... Could you trust yourself? Don't listen to him. The First Enchanter is trying to keep you from realizing your greatness. Trying to keep me from temptation? Just like you were. You're not the Keeper. Be gone, fiend. You. Why did you interfere? Fainreel would have changed the world. There can be no honest deal with a demon. No. You think I will lie then, when I offer your friends what Fainreel turned down? You think this elf, with her innocent face, would turn down a demon's offer? She didn't before. How about it? Would you take what I offered the boy? Scion of the Dalish? Savior of Elvenkind. Can you... do that? I am the greatest of my kind. Whatever tricks your little pet has taught you will pale in comparison. Demons always turn on you in the end. I... cannot put you ahead of the fate of my people. You took my dreamer. Now you'll take his place.
That's it, Fainriel. Hard on the downstroke, then lift. Good. I'll have you scribing all my letters soon. If I'd known you were such a brave lad, I'd have brought you into the business years ago. Does that mean I can come with you to Antietam, father? Mother said maybe this summer. Right, mother? Your father never wanted anything to do with you. Don't trust him. Why are you lying to me? Don't listen, son. She's always been ashamed of you. She wanted you gone, so she could go back to the dailies. I'm the one who loves you. But... Why can't I remember you? This is a trick, Fenrir. He wants something from you. Why... That's right. I spent my whole childhood waiting for you. Your mother never allowed. My mother loves me. She showed me the letters she wrote you. You never wrote back. And it was mother who taught me to write, not you. I've never met you before. Who are you? Don't... question... me. You... you turned him against me. And now you're going to die. Take away my pets, and I'll take away yours. How loyal are these friends you drag into the Fade? Would your pirate queen stay if the open water beckoned? What do you say, sweetheart? A two-mast brigantine? Square main top sail? A hundred well-built lads to answer your every whim? I know you've been looking for a stiff masthead. Hmm. Should I turn around now to let you stab me in the back, or would you rather it be a surprise? You are just the sweetest. The Siren's Call 2 awaits in Kirkwall Harbor. I'll be under the furs in the Captain's quarters. I like big boats, I cannot lie. I'm not sure if this is real. If so, it is the second time I owe you my life. The Fade feels different now. I see the stitches, the seams holding it together. I feel I could wake at any moment. You are free of these nightmares. Where will you go now? The Dalish do not have what I need. Perhaps to Vinter. If these powers can be trained, it would be there. My mother would not look kindly on such a journey. Can you give her my farewell? May the Maker guide your path, Fainril. Perhaps... there is a way out of this. I can do this. Fainril has mastered his powers. Then he lives. You saved him. I cannot thank you enough. Keeper Marathari, may I return with you to the Sunderlands? I would like to ask for my son's forgiveness. Of course. It was you who chose to stay away. He must go elsewhere to train. There is no one in Kirkwall to help him. He asked me to say goodbye. My son? No. I must find him before he goes. It is wise for him to seek guidance. Kirkwall cannot provide what he needs. I truly did not think what you did was possible. You are a rare human indeed. You have my apologies. 
It is easy to forget that one cannot bind demons with words. Your friend awakened here some time ago. No one is immune to a demon's offer. You accomplished a miracle with Fainreel. This book belonged to the last dreamer of our tribe. It has a rare magic beyond price. Please, accept it with my gratitude. You could get another cat, you know. There's one in the low town market with a litter of kittens ready to wean. You don't pay attention to Templars, Kunari, or politics, but you notice kittens. Templars, Quinari, and politics don't meow and attack your feet when you're buying food. Are there any tabbies? I'd like a tabby. I... I can't believe I turned on you. With the demon in the Fade, I'm so sorry, Masaranas. I'll understand if you can't forgive me. You didn't betray me. The demon made you do it. I should have recognized I was being manipulated. I've been so careful in all my dealings with spirits until now. To make such an obvious mistake. It frightens me. It takes so little for a mage to fall. What do you do to protect yourself from demons? The Keeper taught me. In the Fade, you must believe nothing but yourself. Everything there is a lie, or a trick, or a trap. I knew not to trust, and I don't know why I did. What made you give in? It felt like every word the demon spoke reached out and pulled at my heart. I didn't want to believe it, but I just... had to. You're already in a lot more danger than most mages. Because of the blood magic. I know. I'll be more guarded from now on. Thank the creators you were there. It won't happen again. I'll make sure of that. <laughs> 